ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਲ ਹੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਂਕ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਰੇਟ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਐਲਾਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਬੈਂਕ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਵਿਆਜ ਦਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਾਧਾ ਨਾ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਬੈਂਕ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਮਹਾਮਾਰੀ ਕਾਰਨ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਅਰਥਚਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਟਾ ਲੱਗੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਲ 2022 ਤੱਕ ਹੀ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਨਾਲ ਲੀਟੇ ਆਏਗਾ ਬੈਂਕ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਜਾਰੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਆਪਣੀ ਅਪਡੇਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਅੱਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਈਮਾਰ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਹੁਣ ਸਥਿਤੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਬਿਹਤਰ ਹੈ What we're saying is that uh, we're going to get through this but it's going to be a long slog and uh, we're you know we're telling Canadians uh, and and our forward guidance has been very clear that we're going to hold the interest our policy interest rate at the effective lower bound until slack is absorbed so that we can sustainably achieve our 2% uh, inflation target and we've indicated that's not going to happen into some time into 2023 so what does that mean yes it means that you know if you're a household considering making a major purchase uh if you're a business considering investing uh you can be confident that interest rates will be low for a long time clearly we are seeing a resurgence of the of the virus uh it's happening in canada it's happening elsewhere um you know as as we've indicated in the report um you know after a very strong third quarter um you know we we always expected fourth quarter growth would be a lot slower than the third quarter with the rising uh number of uh covid infections uh, we've taken something off that so we, our fourth quarter uh gdp growth is now uh, barely positive 0.2 quarterly or uh, 1% annualized uh hopefully as we come through this second wave um things will pick up again but you know, what we tried to outline is that you know we expect there will be successive waves of of this pandemic uh hopefully each wave will be a little smaller we'll get better at managing them and that's what's built into our our base case uh we also assume in our base case that we don't get um vaccines aren't widely available until uh middle of 2022 um it it could happen that could happen faster uh that would be wonderful there are certainly scenarios where uh a vaccine is is available uh early next year and uh it proves effective and and we can uh deploy it at scale uh, so that by the end of the year um you know we don't need to physically distance anymore um on the other hand uh there are scenarios where the early vaccines aren't as effective as as hoped uh there are scenarios where um a second or third wave is worse uh than expected and so you know the assumptions that we've made underlying our outlook try to balance these these various possibilities 